Hello Internet, this is Sam Messman from We Make Movies here, and what I'm going to show you today is how to use batch renaming and custom metadata fields to easily assemble really complex multicam clips within Final Cut 10. And this is pretty cool and something that would either not be possible at all in Final Cut 7 or would have taken forever. In Final Cut 10, as you'll see, it's an extremely simple process and... All you really need to know is how to take advantage of a couple of the hidden, extremely powerful features that are baked into the program. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. And what you're looking at here is a keyword collection of a 60-minute podcast from three cameras with uh, two audio tracks that we're going to sync together into a single multicam clip. So that'll be 17 clips that we're going to sync entirely together. We have a wide shot. We have a two shot of the guests and we have a single shot of the host. And then these two audio tracks that have five components each that form together to form the full recorded podcast. And with just a little metadata entry, all of these clips are gonna fit across four angles into a single 100% synced multicam clip that we can work with in our timeline. Now the first step is to make sure that we have all the metadata columns we need to see in the event browser. So what I want you to do is right click on one of those columns and then enable the camera angle and enable the scene columns uh, and reorder in a way that's going to be most comfortable to you. Those are the only two we're going to have to rename for this particular process. And the next thing I'm going to do is select all of the clips for my wide angle and I'm going to go into my inspector and then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the inspector and I'm going to select the tab that says basic view and then select extended view and this is going to allow me to quickly rename parameters in the inspector that are going to get reflected in my metadata tabs. So the first one we're going to go up and rename is under camera angle we're going to rename this cam C underscore wide and I'm going to repeat this process for my other two angles and my audio tracks and I'm going to call this cam B underscore guests and then I'm going to call the next one cam A underscore host and finally I'm going to rename the audio to Z underscore audio and the reason I'm doing this is because when we make our multicam clip Final Cut Pro X uses the camera angle tab to place all of your clips within the individual multicam angles. So it does this alphabetically. And in my case, I'll have angles named camera A, then camera B, then camera C, and then Z audio as my fourth switchable multicam angle. So the key editing principle to remember here is to order your angles uh, based on the ones that you think you'll be cutting to most often earlier in the alphabet and then label your audio Z so that it always shows up as your last angle. Anyway, let's go ahead and select all of our clips now and we're gonna rename our scene tab to shoot one part two. And the reason we're gonna do that is because when we go in and batch rename our clips, it's gonna use that as the first part of our name. And let me show you what I mean by that right now. So if you go down to the bottom right hand corner of your inspector and there's, select that little gear icon, it'll open up and then if you scroll down under apply custom name, you'll see four standard options that come with Final Cut. And then if you go into edit, you can make a custom naming preset that you can use across all of your clips using metadata. So if you scroll down and click the plus icon on the bottom left hand corner there, you can make a new preset whose name you can edit. And I'm going to name mine Shoot One Part Two. And if you look to your right, you're going to see the various different metadata tags that you can name your clips to. So in this instance, in the top field, that's where you're going to drag the tags to. I'm going to delete that where it says current name, and then I'm going to drag tags according to my camera angle and scene columns and I'm also going to put a counter in there. So first I'm going to have it renamed to scene then I'm going to put an underscore in and I'm going to drag the camera angle tab up there and then I'm going to put another underscore and if you look there's a tag there that says counter and what that's going to do is it's going to put an 01, 02, 03, 04 based on how many clips you select in the event browser before you batch rename. And you can set uh, a numbering preset there. I'm going to set mine to 01 and I'm going to change the number of digits to it to 2. And 
So what's going to happen now is we're going to go in and rename all of our clips and they're going to get renamed according to what we put in the scene column, then an underscore, then what we put in the angle column, and then another underscore, and then it's going to be counting up from 01 to 02, 03, 04, 05 based on how many clips we've selected in the event browser. So anyway, let's go ahead and click OK and we're going to jump back into the event browser and we're going to go and rename all of our clips. And I'm going to start off by selecting all of my wide angle camera C clips and then I'm going to go under apply custom name and there is the preset on the bottom that we just made. And look at that, all of our clips have been renamed shoot one, part two, cam C and then underscore wide underscore 01 through 05 and now I'm gonna go through and do the exact same thing for each set of clips that are getting grouped together based on how I name my angles and the presets going to get applied to each of those and this is incredibly fast and sort of amazing and um, you can really take advantage of this over all of your projects and it makes organizations so much easier so Anyway, I've, uh, I'm going to finish this up with the audio, and as you'll see, it's going to do the same thing, and this time to Z Audio underscore 0102. And now, all I'm going to do is select all of my clips, and then go ahead and make a multicam out of these. And it's going to take every single clip here, and it's going to place them according to camera angle into their own lane, uh, and sync them all to the audio tracks there based on the waveforms and it's really just like a synchronized clip but instead of synchronizing two clips we're synchronizing 17 all together and having a full 60 minute podcast in a single clip that we can seamlessly edit with personally I think that's pretty amazing and pretty cool but I'm sort of a nerd um, but I do know that having used this feature it's really accelerated my workflow. Now it may take a few minutes to do this as it's got a lot of math and whatever's going on behind the scenes. But once it's done, you're gonna be left with a single clip containing all of these clips that you can work with seamlessly. And now that it's done processing, we're back. And as you'll see, Final Cut 10 has placed us in our event and it's placed our multicam in our event and not our keyword collection. Now, if you're making a lot of multicam clips, uh, here's a quick tip on how to get them all to come in to a simple place where you can find them easy as opposed to having to dig through your entire event. And the way we're gonna do that is make a smart collection that only contains multicam clips. So go ahead and right click on your event and select new smart collection. And I'm gonna call mine multicam. And then I'm going to double click the purple icon there and it's going to bring in my filter settings. And I'm going to select clip type and then I'm simply going to select multicam. And it's going to bring up all of the multicam clips that are stored in my event that I've made so far. There's a few because I've done a few of these podcasts. And there's the one that we need. And now we're going to keyword that and call it shoot one part two. And as you'll see, there's a keyword collection that's already been made for that that I'll just select and push return. And it's going to apply a keyword to that. And now when we jump back to our keyword collection, we're going to see that our multicam clip has been placed inside there. And if you look at the duration, it says about 50 minutes, which is about right. Um, and when you scroll through, we'll see the first angle, which was camera A that we applied as our default angle. And if we go into the info tab of the inspector, we can go and see all of the different angles and they all match up with the metadata that we entered and we can set our active audio angle to Z audio. So now camera A and Z audio are our default audio and video angles and now we can go in and open the multicam clip in the angle editor and we can see what Final Cut 10 has done. And if you look it's made four different angles Cam A, Cam B, Cam C, and Z audio. And it's placed each of the individual clips that live within each angle into the respective angle. So in the first one, you'll see there are five clips. In the second one, you'll see there are four. And the third one, you'll see there are four, and then two in uh, the audio angle. And basically, because of the way that we labeled our metadata, 
Final Cut 10 automatically knows how to set up and sync these clips together. And now we can just go in and add the single clip to our sequence and I can cut down this entire podcast now using my multicam controls and switch angles seamlessly and I can edit a 60 minute or technically 50 minute podcast using a single clip. I think that's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys do too and you got something out of this and it's going to make your workflow a little bit faster and that's going to pretty much do it here. And also um, all the steps from this tutorial have been posted in the description below and if you have any questions or things you notice that you want to add to this workflow, post them in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you. At the end of the day, the goal here is to make all of this stuff as seamless and easy as possible, and I'd love your feedback on how to make it all better. And if you watch this and it all went totally over your head or you just don't feel like doing it, well, this is what I do for a living, so feel free to hire me either to consult on your movie or to finish your film for you if that's what you need. So if you want to get in touch, just drop me an email over at sam at wemakemovies.org. And lastly, if you're wondering what this whole We Make Movies thing is, Check us out over at WeMakeMovies.org, or if you live in L.A. or Toronto, sign up for our newsletter, and then come to one of our events. I'll see you guys next time. And cut!